Hello, my name is Ishan Varadia, representing Stratford Academy, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our product, The Helping Hand. Now, before I speak about our product specifically, I want to talk about the story of our friend, Mr. Thomas. He wakes up and goes to the shower, and he has to keep his hands outside the curtain so the water droplets don't irritate his arms. He goes to cook some eggs, and as he's waiting, he leans on the stove, and his hand is smoldering. He doesn't even notice. He goes through the day, nicking and burning his hands just to repeat this task next, the next day. This is the same story for 20 million others in the United States alone. And these injuries may seem very simple, but they can contribute to chronic pain and severe infection. Our solution to Mr. Thomas's problem was the helping hand glove, a glove that uses light to indicate when intense pressure or temperature is coming in contact of the hand. Our goal is to make it very practical, practical, cheap, and compact to maintain dexterity for the user. And as you can see on the bottom, those are the Flex Sensor 2.0s we used along with Arduinos to make it work. And on the top, we used Type K thermocouples. Um, I just want to give a quick demo of both aspects of the glove, so temperature and pressure. And on the top, you can see my friend Walker. Um, he's about to I'll show off the glove first, then he's going to take a soldering iron and place it to the fingertips. And when he does that, you can see the light on the back of the glove turns up, brights up to show that the intense temperature was applied. Um, and on the bottom, you can actually see our community partner, Mr. Thomas. And we just wanted to make sure that the glove could differentiate temperature ex applied from Mr. Thomas closing a fist could be differentiable from an external force, say an anvil dropped on a hand, which hopefully it didn't. <laughs> Um, but again, if intense pressure was applied, the light on the back would flare up. Um, there are other products using similar technology, but they're not truly targeting the same demographic and they're not really for commercial use. MIT and Cornell are both working on pressure sensing gloves. However, MIT's is more targeted towards, uh, the physics of how a hand picks up objects and how the hand reacts it and moves different things. Cornell is more targeting towards, uh, virtual reality and pressure in that sense. And also firefighters are known to use gloves with thermocouples built in to sense temperature. However, those are far higher grade. Those are type J as, whereas we're using type K thermocouples um, as normal people would not need thermocouples that have such a high range. Um, so we definitely have a market for us. And just expanding on the future market, I just want to talk about what our team would do with an investment um, we know we'd be able to make it more streamli streamlinable and we'd be able to make it more compact so we can maintain more dexterity uh, with the user. We know that, especially in the area of pressure, currently we're using Flex Center 2.0s, which are big, long, rectangular, yet thin strands. And we know uh, we could do something more similar to what MIT was doing in their glove where we sew it into the fabric, uh, much thinner and tinier versions of these strands, so you can barely even feel it. Um, and we know we can make the thermocouples thin as we actually bought normal thermocouples and flattened them out. So we know we can make our own that are far thinner and actually fit on the fingertips of the glove uh, better for each individual person. Um, we know we can expand it to the prosthetic industry. We talked to uh, the owner of Bowen Prosthetics, a local prosthetics manufacturer. And we realized that uh, an issue that many people that have prosthetics is they have trouble sensing pressure. So if, they, if you give them a Coke can, for example, they won't know how much pressure to apply to it and they might accidentally crush it. So we know that we'd be able to alert them if they're applying, if they're actually applying too much pressure on a certain area. And we could also make sure that they're keeping their uh, most likely expensive hand out of danger. <laughs> um, and I guess I just would like to thank you all for listening and taking the time to listen to our helping hand.